Today is another day to be grateful for. It's because I get to do another flight again and this time will be in Kuala Lumpur. I've been here for several times already. It still feels good to be back. We always stay in this beautiful hotel which is just right at the airport of Kuala Lumpur. I've never planned to go out as it is a rule mandated by the government that we have to stay in our respective room throughout the entire duration of the layover. So today I will just share with you what I did during our 32 hour layover. At the same time, I'll be doing a tour for those who are interested to see my hotel room. It was already around 3 in the afternoon when we arrived at the hotel. I wanted to stay awake a little longer so I can sleep throughout the night. I normally take a shower and after I reach the room, I have some light snack before I go to bed. I also wanted to watch the sunrise in the morning so I set an alarm at 6 a.m. I thought I'll be able to sleep the entire night but I was wrong as I woke up just a few hours ahead of time. So I decided to get up rather than waste my time rolling in the bed. Nowadays, I always take my laptop with me in the layovers just in case some destinations don't allow us to go out of our rooms. And trust me, it's been a trend now for every country because of the situation. I'm not sure when it's going to normalize. But for now, I don't want to dwell on the negative side. I just want to make sure I do something productive like editing my videos rather than waiting for the time to slip away. The sunrise will be at 7 in the morning so I better open my window. So this is my room. As you may already know, we stay only in a 4 or 5 star hotel. We don't share our rooms with other crew. I also love the hotels in Southeast Asia as they always have a very spacious rooms with amazing interior. And I always open my window every time so I can see the beauty of the outside world. Now let me show you the other parts of the room. Let's go and see what's inside the cupboard. They normally have one pair of bathrobe, a few hangers, a weighing scale, slippers, and a safety box. Inside these drawers are two laundry bags in case you need to send your clothes to be washed, and also a paper bag. They also have a study table on the side of the window. Today, I'm going to write all my to-do list for my next stop. Hotels normally have a few notepads and a pen, which is normally complimentary. 
I also bring my book wherever I go for some self-development. I've started this journey over the past two years now and I couldn't be prouder of myself for the achievement that I've done. I always love being alone. It makes me feel recharged every time. It's the middle of the day and I started to become sleepy. I thought I'm gonna be able to hold it till my desired timing so I can have a maximum sleep before the flight. But still I obeyed my body clock and decided to sleep. The moment I wake up should be just about time to repair or pick up. I started journaling the moment I'm awake. It normally takes only 15 minutes, but this time I got really inspired to write my own thoughts. So it took me some time to finish it. I also craved for some local food so I decided to order for some room service. The hotel has lots of options to choose from. And I chose a nasi goreng with chicken with peanut sauce. Yes, hi, I'd like to order for a room service, please. Alright, thank you. In the next 30 minutes will be my wake-up call, so let me enjoy my dinner while listening to the audiobook. So that's all for today and I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you again next time.